Hello, welcome to Soul Magic 99. Today I'm doing a reading for an energy check in after the 1111 portal and the full moon of the 12th of November for the feminine and the masculine energies. First, I want to say if you help me get to 100 subscribers, I'm giving away a free reading, but you must like, share, and subscribe and make a comment to be entered into the draw. I'm doing a special offer on November readings. For this month only a 20 minute reading for 11 pounds and 11 pence to uh, inquire about that just email me at soulmagic at gmail.com and all the other details will be down below okay in the description box so we'll start with the feminine energies so i've drawn some cards from mother mary deck and she is the ultimate feminine figure in the Ascended Masters. This says Mother. I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. Some of you out there may have had difficult relationships with your mum. Maybe you felt your mum didn't do a good job. Strained relationships as you were growing up. But we must learn to forgive. They did the best they could. And you know we're all spiritual beings at the end of the day. And we're all here to learn lessons. So forgive your mother and that will help your relationships to grow with other people in the world. Don't hold on to resentments for that, okay? Just open your heart and forgive. Now we have, as I just said, open your heart. I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all forms of love. So this card is telling you to open your heart you know be open to receiving love be open to giving love because only then can you have a truly fulfilling relationship with somebody not just a romantic partner but anybody in your life that you care for deeply so allow yourself to love open your heart to true love okay optimism i expect good things to happen and they do so again, it's about having that positive attitude, that positive mindset. You know, what you focus on grows. So choose to focus on positive things coming into your life. That's much better than negative, dark things. I know it's easy sometimes to get into a negative pattern. I've done it myself. But every time you catch yourself doing it, just say to the universe, please delete that. And then focus on something more positive, okay? You can always change your mind and choose to focus on the good. And by doing that, good things will happen, okay? Now we have the three of coins. The man in the picture there is holding a parcel. I do feel someone is going to bring you a gift of some sort, um, but he's not sure how it's going to be received. It may not be something you've asked for or even expected, but accept it with an open heart because by that doing that, you will encourage more you know receipt of you know more gifts in the future not that it's about gifts but you know accept it with an open heart be grateful and thankful because it's the thoughtfulness of it and someone getting you a gift like that means they've been thinking about you okay so hopefully some of you will receive a gift soon so here we have the two of pentacles and they're completely in balance there in the infinity symbol above his head. In the background, you can see the boat coming in. So all your ships are coming in. Whatever you've been manifesting is going to come in. Okay, but you need to keep in balance in your mind, your body and your spirit. Keep in equilibrium. Keep on that even plane. And that's the way you can manifest, okay? So, and again, I think this is talking about the relationship with the, the masculine in this um soul group and you know be in balance with each other be yin and yang feminine and masculine they are poles opposite but they need each other and they need each other to be in balance okay so here we have the ace of pentacles and this is a very positive card as you can see there is actually a star on the pentacle you know this is to me like a wish come true it's not necessarily about money obviously they you know represent finances 
but it can represent any form of abundance coming into you. It could be love, it could be work related, um, anything that you have wished for in, in your life to materialise is coming ahead. This is a new beginning, a can of fresh start. Here we have the King of Cups. He stand, sorry, sitting in his power on his throne. He has his cup there. He's ready to offer his cup to you. He's completely, you know, authoritative, but relaxed. He's sitting under the stars and he knows what he wants and he wants to offer that cup to you. So be open to receive, okay, as I said before. Now I've drawn some cards from the Ascended Masters deck. These are specifically for the feminine. These are feminine, as, you know, energies of a feminine. This one says, come out of the closet, Amaratsu. So just going to look at the additional meanings for that. It's time for you to make your real feelings and beliefs known. This card asks you to real, reveal who you truly are to yourself and others. This may involve having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with a loved one. Or allowing other people to see your true nature. You will be spiritually supported in this process and the Ascended Masters will help you to be lovingly honest as a result of coming out of the closet. Your relationships will deepen because you'll know that you're loved for who you really are. Let go of judgments about yourself or others. Speak your truth with love. Allow others to get to know the real you. Trust that your authentic self is lovable and likeable. The more authentic you are, the higher the energy and the process of all your projects. So it's just saying, be honest about who you are, okay? Just be open and honest. And, you know, that's the best way to attract real love into your life is to be your authentic self, okay? And to not accept any more codependent relationships, which never end well. Here we have the flow of prosperity. Lakshmi. So again, this is about abundance, attracting abundance into your life, okay? So additional meanings. It indicates that your prayers about finances have been heard and answered. Tap into your manifestation power by focusing on abundance instead of worrying about money. You have nothing to fear. A new flow of prosperity is supporting you and your loved ones. Stop worrying about money. Worries only attract money problems. Everything's going to be okay, especially with respect to finances. You have the support to make a desired life change right now. Visualise and affirm prosperity. So to me, it's not just about financial prosperity. This is about abundance in your life in general. So this could be to do with love, family relationships, work relationships and situations, home situations. So welcome the flow in abundance. It's strange because I did a post this week and on my Facebook page and it just says, go with the flow, let it flow, don't fight the flow. And that by that way, just going with the flow, you're going with the energies and the best outcomes are possible. Okay. I've just drawn some cards from the fairies. So we've got spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. <clears throat> and this fairy angel has got lots of little woodland creatures. Some of you out there could be very much um, working with the animal kingdom at this time, trying to help the animal kingdom. We, we don't treat our animals very nice in this world. And there are so many people now that are realizing this. So maybe you, you're going to be involved in that some way with the animals. Um, this helps with stress. When you go outside, sit on the grass, go and find a beach, sit by the ocean. You know, if you can't do that, visualise it in your mind. That you're somewhere by the ocean or you're by the trees in nature and you can hear the rustling of the trees. Um, anything like that will help you to relax. It says here you are, you are a teacher of others and by doing this you will feel so much better about yourself. Your vibration will increase and helping others by teaching or healing them is the most rewarding thing you can do and it will really boost your self-esteem as well. Dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. 
So maybe some of you have been overindulging or eating the wrong foods, not having a balanced diet. I do believe it's about having balance. I don't believe in deprivation unless it's something that's really harmful. Um, you know, cut down on your sugar intake, eat more fresh fruit and vegetables, cut out the sugary drinks, don't drink so much alcohol or cut it out if you're able to. I don't believe in being, you know, so strict on yourself because that can make you go the other way. But there's a message here for somebody that your diet needs to change, okay? And in this picture as well, there's a lot of flowers. So it feels to me like some of you could benefit from working with the flower essences. There are many that you can buy in the shops, um, the bark flower remedies. They're very subtle things that can help with your moods and your... Um, particular state of mind they're very helpful so maybe look into that for yourself at the moment so as what wasn't a lot of sexy times in this reading <laughs> i've got a pulled a romance angel card and it says express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture gesture so as we were saying earlier on don't be afraid to express how you feel to your divine masculine because maybe he's finding it particularly hard and one of you needs to speak up because by doing that you will enable them to speak their truth too and that can move things forward you know if you keep holding on to the truth of how you really feel it's going to stagnate and not go anywhere so whatever the outcome you need to speak your truth and i'm sure it'll be positive okay so be brave and express your love okay so i hope that helps Hello Divine Masculines, I'm going to check in with Archangel Michael now. Be gentle with yourself. Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release my feelings of guilt to you that I may experience lasting inner peace. So I think the Masculines are still feeling guilty over something, but this is a process this is a healing process and they are asking for help from the spiritual realms they are aware that they need to heal okay so this is all positive and they will be able to move forward from this but sometimes these things take time okay explore your options dear god thank you for your wisdom and love helping me see understand and assess all of my alternative options please guide me in the best direction for my health happiness and life purpose I do feel here that maybe they're questioning their lifestyle at the moment and maybe it's not really doing it for them anymore and it's not just about love it could be about work family situations living situations I think they're really having an overhaul at this time and this is not uncommon because <clears throat> after a new moon and all the energies that are going around at the moment and the Mercury retrograde, a lot of people are looking at things from a fresh perspective, okay? So as well as obviously wanting a change in their love life, there could be other things going on in their mind. So just have patience at this time, okay? Spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and help me relax. And enjoy connecting with nature well as we just said to the feminines again about going outside in nature you know going to a wooded area hug a tree go to a beach area go to a grass area mountain area wherever is convenient for you to go just get outside get that fresh air you will connect with the divine much easier if you're not able to go outside just visualize yourself outside in a lovely scenario when I do meditations I have a little sacred space that I go to and it's my own space and you can design it however you want in your mind's eye and that can be a very healing and comforting place to go sometimes okay lean on God and the angels for support dear God and angels I give you this whatever the situation is now and complete we step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So as we were saying earlier in the feminine reading, it's about going with the flow. Don't try and hold on to things. 
just go with the flow whatever's going on obviously if you're in a dangerous situation you need to do something but you know if you're not sure of your direction just ask for help from the divine and god and they will help guide you okay and you'll get thoughts and synchronicities and nudges in your mind to direct you in the right way and just go with the flow okay so here we have the seven of wands so he's been through a hard time he's put all these other wands down and he's just holding one he's just got one more obstacle to go really it's been difficult it's been tiring and, and you know he's tired so he needs a bit of time out i feel at this stage so just be patient he's been through a lot he's been through his own personal growth you know dealing with his own personal demons but he's almost there he's just got one one left okay so not much longer now so here we have the five of wands there's been some battles some arguments some disagreements um i do believe this is in the past i don't think this is related to the relationship with the feminine i think this is other outside forces people trying to manipulate him in situations but he is standing up for himself now and he's moving forward from that because here we have six victory here he comes the knight in shining armor <laughs> On his white horse to claim his prize his prize is you okay he's on his way definitely on his way and here we have the four of wands the twin flame sign the happy ever after the masculine and the feminine walking through the archway to their new life together and there we have the dove of peace so things are peace are going to be peaceful, harmonious, okay, and it's not far away now. So the worst is behind you, and just look forward to a much happier future, okay, together. Now we have um, some messages from the Ascended Masters. We have Saint Germain, work your magic. He works with the purple ray. Just get the additional messages. This card signifies your untapped magical abilities, which you've used successfully, which you've used successfully in the past. Pull these abilities out of storage and use them to work your magic now. Your clear and focused intentions, positive expectations, and prayers, decrees, and action steps all create the healings and manifestations you desire. Decide clearly what you want, and won't accept in this situation. As you bring clarity you will get immediate results. Have steady faith in a positive outcome. Study alchemy and manifestation principles. So I do feel a lot of the Divine Masculines out there are tapping into their powers, their spirituality, their psychic gifts. They're more wary, I think, than the Feminines. Not as easy to trust in that because obviously we call it Feminine Intuition, but obviously they have it too. And I think they're learning to tap into it more. Okay. And Saint Germain is a good person to call on. If ever you want some extra magic in your life. Okay. Here we have Ganesh. And the answer to your question is yes. So he's one of the Indian gods. As the doorways are open to you and the pathway is clear, any previous obstacles have been removed. Keep a positive mindset about the situation to ensure the best possible outcome. The answer to your question is yes. This is a good time to make a move or change. Your prayers have been heard and answered. You have positive support for this situation. Keep the faith. Ganesh is a Hindu elephant-headed overcomer of obstacles who clears your path of any blocks call upon ganache 
at the beginning of any ceremony or new project to ensure a smooth start and steady progress. He's also very supportive of writers and help anyone who's in a bind. So he's here helping the Divine Masculines to overcome any obstacles. I do feel some of them have had major obstacles to overcome and that obviously causes a timing issue. But now they've decided what they want with the help of Saint Germain and all the other spiritual masters. They are moving forward, okay? Messages from the fairies, children. Your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. So some of the people you're involved with um, could have children, you could have children. And I think, you know, even when you go through a separation or divorce, the, the most important thing is to make sure your children feel safe and happy. Sometimes children are happier when parents split up because if there's a horrible atmosphere or arguing or even violence in the home, it's better if that doesn't happen anymore. And sometimes they're much better off if the, if the parents separate. Um, this could also mean some of you actually work with children or are guided to work with children. And again, that would be really good. There's not enough male, good male role models in the world. Um, so some of you may have a, a call in for that to work with children, okay? Marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. Wow, that says it all. I do think that's on his mind. That's how he sees you as a partner. As I've said before, it's not always about a marriage ceremony as such. It could be just a commitment with you, just the two of you, no one else. You know, living your lives as a couple. Um, it's divinely guided, this union. And it's, it's going to be balanced, you know, the masculine and the feminine energies. So those of you out there that are looking forward to that, congratulations. So this is talking about light-hearted energy, flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So, you know, if you've been in separation for a while and you're coming together, let's not get heavy, let's not get hot and heavy. You know, keep it light, keep it bubbly, joyful, because it's not going to be a, a happy reunion if everyone's getting into an argument. Just keep it light, flirtatious. That's where things can really start moving forward, okay? And the final card, oh my God. <laughs> I pulled this the other day in my reading, wedding, and we just had the marriage card. So some of these divine masculines out there have definitely got marriage on their mind. They've got you as their other half. Um, they want a commitment with you. There may have been some delay with them making up their minds about what they wanted, but this is definitely what they want. They want it to just be about you and them. Okay. So congratulations and many blessings to all of you. So this has been Soul Magic 99. So please like, share and subscribe. Please comment down below and I will see you again next time. Remember, be kind to everyone.